Have any of you guys heard of online before? Well, if not, they're back! Hey there guys, this is Kazi here and I'm playing some TDM on Call of Duty Ghost. Now, on live, it came out a roughly around 4 or 5 years ago I believe. I may be wrong about that statement, but anyway. Around 2012 it had a massive drop in the kind of where it was going because I don't think many people use the service and it didn't have a great member of experienced staff of what I believe. I'm, again, I may be wrong with that statement, but the service wasn't too amazing. And uh, well, it's just decided to recently make a hit back, and they've hired a member of staff from EA and a former member of EA, should I say, and a former former member of Disney Corporation staff. Now both with a lot of experience. And the company is going to make a hit return. Now, not that it ever went anywhere in the first place, but, uh, you know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see a comeback. And when we see a comeback, I mean, like, hopefully, we're gonna actually see some big games hitting this thing. We're gonna see some better kind of layout to the subscription service of what actually people are getting. And not just that as well, they're actually starting some new kind of service called Cloudlift Beta. Well, it's in a beta at the moment, should I say, but it's called Cloudlift. And what you can do with this is stream games that you've bought through the actual online service. Or, you can actually uh, stream games from your Steam accounts. Now... This may be a good good thing for people who, who like to game on the go a lot, you know, you can actually download on live on the Androids or iPads and things like that. So if people like to game on the go and play them on there, some games you may be able to do that with. Or if you go and, for example, stop at someone's house and they've got a good internet connection, you're able to stream that service from your computer, a local device. Um, and, you know, it's great for users. Now, like I said, I personally liked the idea of OnLive. I thought it was a good idea. And maybe the entire world's not ready for it yet. I know full well that the UK is not ready for it yet. It's seen as, like, probably only 20% of the UK can probably handle what it's capable of uh, actually offering. Now, everything on the online service is usually streamed but the quality of it isn't always what people are always wanting some of them can actually look like just a high, resolu high resolution youtube video when they've actually been recorded and or should i say when they've been streamed and you know people probably want better than that from a service or when they're playing actual video games which is understandable but Oh, I only just managed to kill that guy, and which is completely understandable. But you know, hopefully, when the internet does uh, start getting better and things like that, and the upgrades in e regions, you know what, guys, I'm just rambling here. What I'm trying to say is, is the internet connection is just not good enough at the moment to be able to have the online service in our current times for everybody around the world. That is not just here in the UK but also in America and everywhere else in Europe and such etc etc but yeah the online service I do really like it and especially if we can stream games which are locally I think that would be a really good idea like I say it's in beta at the moment but you're able to buy download codes from online it says and uh, access games that you already own from the Steam library cloud play to PC, Mac and TV and Android tablets. So like I said, for people who like avid gamers and I've tried the on drive on live service on the Android refer and it works it does work pretty well and may not be too good over 3G, 4G kind of thing because it will completely eat your data to shreds unless you've got unlimited data and that's uh, that's completely fine. You probably don't give a crap. But uh Ah, he had an IED waiting for me at the top of the stairs. It's like the third stab I've got this game, guys. I usually don't even manage to stab one opponent. But, uh, anyway. Let's, let's see what the online service is capable of. And let's see if it does come back with a good comeback, you know. The, online, the cloud lift may be the kind of thing that's needed to give it its kind of boost in uh, money.
because I'm guessing that in the past kind of uh, past couple of years, the company's lost a lot of money, especially if they've lost any members of staff. The service hasn't offered many games. You know, the last time I looked at it was over around uh, four or five months ago, and the games library was still pretty poor, to be honest with you. So we need to start seeing more games on the actual service as well to make it a little bit more... Uh, bit more usable entice people to actually want to go and actually use the sort of service but like I said maybe we will actually see that in the upcoming months so yeah guys and we I think we're actually gonna win this game hopefully seems to be in front by about 15 at the moment 16 points I finally got that guy who decided to camp up there and I nearly got all three of them. Unfortunately I got killed by a grenade launcher and he did have a turret up there as well. But I think the cloud lift better myself. I, I've, I think as well that my PC isn't all too powerful and some of the games maybe I do want to play. For example, I could buy the games, download them locally, and then even just do it, use them that way. Because I believe that the games are going to get streamed off of their servers, so it's not going to use any of your hardware. So it may be a good way for people who haven't got powerful PCs to actually uh, stream games, you know. And actually play games that they want to um, play on Steam and such. If they can't actually do it with their PC that they've got themselves. I know something that I, I will look into, you know, I'm, I'm always very optimistic with things and I don't like to be judgmental and say, you know, this is crap, this is good, until I've used it myself. Now the online service, I do believe it is quite a good service, the streaming isn't mm, always too clever, but it's one of them things that hopefully it gets more, more bigger and better that we're gonna get it's gonna become bigger and better you know and that's only gonna happen by it becoming a lot more open for what it is because I don't think a lot of people even know about the actual service you know I've seen videos on YouTube of people playing on live on the androids and uh, a lot of people didn't actually believe them because they thought it wasn't something that could be done you know they thought it was just a uh, photoshop kind of FX thing so it, it can be done, and uh, I've, I've tried it before. I've p tried Homefront on my playing it on my phone before, and it it, come, it looked pretty good to be honest with you on my on my Android that I had at the time. And uh, I actually had the Xperia Play, which has got the built-in controller, so it was really actually good to play it with that, and it worked uh, worked quite well. Oh, I know somewhat that there's some kind of third-party controllers that you can actually get. But anyway, guys, I got the final game-winning kill. And tell me guys what you do think what do you think about the online service? Would you personally use it? Have you even heard of it before? If not, go and check it out guys, because it's a free download on the PC. You can actually buy the hardware as well to use it in your laptop and things. Oh sorry, in your TV and things like that. But anyway, thank you for watching guys. I hope this video has kept you interested. And if you want to see more things like that, make sure you subscribe. And for always guys, thank you and take care guys.